Hello guys, I'm Niket here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a ROM from source. Uh, uh, for this video, I'm going to build Liquid Dark Marshmallow ROM, and uh, which is based on Liquid Smooth. So, let's get started. Once you have synced the ROM, you just uh, head over to the main uh, folder that you have synced in. So, there are three necessary things that you want to do first. Uh, there are three repos that you have to clone and f in, uh, in order to build the ROM uh, the first one is the device repo uh, the second one is the kernel repo and f third one is the vendor repo so if your device has official Cyanogen mode support the CM support you can head, head over to the Cyanogen mode github search for your device's code name like uh, let's say I want to build for oneplus 2 so the oneplus 2 has a code, uh, code name oneplus 2 only so I search for it and there you have the device here is the device tree 1 out of 3 and the oneplus 2 uses uh, MSM8994 chipset so here is the kernel and uh, for vendors, uh, you can look up for the Muppets. It usually has all of the vendors lying around for all different manufacturers and all devices. Most of the uh, most of the vendors are on are at the Muppets, so you can take a reference from here and clone the one for your device. Okay. So in this video, I'm gonna I'm not gonna build for one plus one one plus two, uh, but I'm going to build for. Uh, my device Redmi One is Armani, so my device doesn't have an official support. So, uh, and yes, uh, even for the uno unofficial devices, uh, you can uh, go to the uh, uh, same thread for a device, and uh, you can look out for the sources on the XJ thread itself. So, like I said, if you Google. Same thirteen for Redmi One S. Let me just show you directly. So apparently, this this is the thread for my device. My device has an uh, unofficial Cyanogen mode support. So I go to the bottom of the first post and then I look out for the source code. So. Uh, in this way, you can get the source code for all, uh, for your device, and you can see the all, all three repos for your device here. So, device, kernel, and vendor are already present in here. So, first thing you want to do is clone the device repos first. So, you clone the device repo first. For cloning, you can use a manifest method, but I don't use it so. I use the normal click get clone method and uh, uh, I just have to clone it like this like uh, use get clone paste the URL you can copy it uh, uh, from here it's already here uh, the dot git and uh, you define the branch that you're going to sync so in this case it is uh, same as 13.0 uh, for marshmallow roms if I want to build marshmallow rom uh, same dash 12.1 for uh, if I want to build uh, lollipop roms or CM11 and all the other branches. So just have to look out for the branch that you want to build in actual. So uh, I define the branch name that, I that I'm going to clone and then I put the name of the branch that I'm going to sync. So and after that I give the path that where I want to uh, sync this branch sync this repo in my uh, uh, path that I uh, that I defined so I press enter and uh, it clones the uh, device repo basically and uh, you can repeat the repeat this step for uh, 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 cloning kernel and uh, vendor also so it depends so it will take around uh, two to three minutes to clone this uh, repo so let's wait Okay, so the device repo has been cloned. Then uh, uh, you have to look out for the dependencies that your device uses. My device uses a device Qualcomm Common, so I clone it also. 
I head over to this challenger mod uh, github page and then I search for the common repo that my device uses so as you can see it is here I just clo clone it as it is just like the way I clone the uh, device repo I define the branch I define define the path in which I want to clone but uh, I guess yes uh, it already has a common repo so I don't need to clone it clone it but just in case if you if your device uh, uses these uh, dependencies you, you must have to clone it uh, otherwise your device won't boot or uh, the build will give errors and you know okay so proceeding with the next part uh, you have to uh, build the ROM uh, as you can see I've already cloned the kernel Uh, I've already cloned the kernel repo as you can see the device repo and the vendor okay since all these th three things are cloned then you have to go to the device repo that you're going to use then you have to rename this mk file uh, it, it usually uh, there's a mk file named cm.mk that that you have to rename according to device according to the rom gear you're building uh, in my case i'm building liquid dark which is based on liquid smooth so i will rename the mk file to liquid.mk then i will edit the liquid.mk file here and then then i will uh, correct the parts like this So you basically point, uh, you basically change the path from CM to the the name of the ROM you're building. Uh, but uh, check out for the uh, ROM you're building that it might have a different path. Uh, be, make sure that you check all the other bring ups of other devices. If it ha if it has. Okay, so this is done. Then I will save it. Then I go back to the main directory here then I will enter the command build environment setup.sh then I will use a brunch, brunch command uh, most people use lunch and then do a make for the ROM uh, I usually use brunch it is uh, bre basically breakfast plus lunch so I use brunch it's just a one step command so there you go uh, then you have to then you can build the ROM as it is as you can see no issues at all uh, so yeah that's how basically you build a ROM uh, so I guess that's it uh, if you have any queries you can uh, drop down your questions your issues in the comment section below and I will uh, list all the important uh, links in the description below so you can refer to it so yeah thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe peace